What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Kingdom. My name is Splattercat, very stoked to have you here today. We need to bolster our defenses. We didn't get the big attack when I thought we would, so I'm a tiny bit nervous about it. I'll probably start chopping some of these trees. I'd really like to make my way out to that river over there. If we can get to that little creek, we'll be able to start farming. Now we haven't upgraded our city a whole lot, but I would recommend players take it a little bit slow. Focus on your defenses first. And don't overexpand because the enemy can blow through like eight walls perfectly fine without too much trouble if you don't have the defenses to hold those walls. And so for right now, I'm probably going to focus really, really heavily on just making ourselves a solid inner core defense group. And then from there, once we survive the big attack, that's when things are going to ramp up and we're going to start upgrading very, very rapidly. Let's make a new tower on that side. Let's go ahead and upgrade our city a little bit. And so there it is. We now have a palisade wall around our city. It doesn't really do that much, except for the fact that it unlocks the scythe vendor. This is the guy that sells the tool that turns the random little Moo Moo peasants into their class. And so the classes are like archer, there's a hammer guy, there's farmers, there's knights a little bit further in, which are pretty cool. The knights are actually not quite as good as you expect them to be, though, so be careful about hiring a bunch of knights. Because actually, sometimes they can slow down your progress if you trigger them too early. Just a thing to think about with the knights, but I'll talk about that more once we actually get to the point where we're equipping our settlement with the knights. Oh, good, we got two guys up on the tower now. I've upgraded them to the point where they can have three or four guys up on... <clears throat> Oop, that was a hiccup that I really didn't expect to give off. But you know what? You heard it, and there's no way for me to edit it out now. So anyways... <laughs> We, you can upgrade these pretty far. I think the highest tier has like three or four that I've seen so far. And if you've got enough archers, I mean, you really want to have like maybe 10, 15 archers on each wall because the big attack, believe me, when you see it, it's, it's going to be a gnarly attack. So I like to be prepared for it rather than kind of trying to adapt after the fact. The nice thing about this wall expanding this way is that it comes with an extra rock so that I can have another tower. The towers become important later on. All right. So is it going to be tonight? God, I'm nervous about this. You can sort of bribe away the enemy sometimes because they come for coins first. And so if you drop a big line of coins outside your wall, sometimes they'll leave you alone. Kind of like a bribe paid off to keep the brigands at bay. For right now, we got enough archers on that side to where I feel okay. This side appears to be fairly symmetrical with the other, so... Sans the fact that we don't have another guy up in the tower, we should be alright. Uh, maybe it's on day 7 that they attack. I don't know what to say right now. Except that it looks like it's time to expand our wall out. Let's go out a little bit further. Oh, they did give us a rock on this side. Well, then never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, once these guys, I wanted to add this. Once these archers are up on the wall, like they are there permanently. They don't ever get down again. So just be aware that if you were interested in your soldiers getting down and like coming and reinforcing other positions, they will not do that. They always stay like in the exact same spot once they go up in a tower. We destroyed the village on this side. I'm going to spend the day riding out a little bit further, though, and trying to figure out what's off in this direction. There are magical shrines around that can ward you for a little while versus enemies. There's all kinds of cool stuff out in the forest, and so you absolutely should spend your time exploring because it will be worth it once you find those things that you want to equip your guys with. We've got a couple of peasants right there. I'll flick them a couple of coins. There's our stone shrine, but what was on the opposite side of it? Let's find out real quick, shall we? Oh, we got a portal. Okay, run away. Never mind. There's a portal over there. So that's going to be one of our first objectives that we want to attack. Portals are where the enemies come from, and you can attack them, and that's the function of knights. And so once we get knights, there's these little flags, and if you click on the flags with a coin, or if you give the flag a coin, it makes all of your knights charge, and they try to take over the enemy's spot. But you don't want to send them out too early because they'll get slaughtered and it'll be a waste of your money. You don't want to send them out too late because by that point, you're going to be dealing with an enemy retinue that is absolutely, like, fantastically over-equipped, and they're just going to really ride out on you. It's going to hurt a lot. So for right now, I think we're just going to focus on surviving. We've still got game. I need this to be built up by the end of the night, please. Like, I really sincerely do. So if we can get some workers on that, that would be fantastic. we got two guys coming from that side. Move those archers on up. I love the soundtrack of this game, too. It's like everything came together just perfectly with the construction of this game. And believe me, I don't fall like head over heels for a game like this very often, but really, I've put a stupid amount of time into this game. I can't believe it used to be a Flash game. That's what really surprises me. So I need you guys to at least get a Tier 3 wall up. Come on. 
There we go. That little banner right there, that's what I was talking about. If you throw a coin at the banner, it'll cause your armies to charge and attack. It may or may not work out, or it may or may not work out well for you, though. So as soon as that wall's done, what do you guys have over here for me? You guys got anything? There you go. Give me that money. Awesome. Thank you for your patronage and being part of Super Awesome Pimp King White Pants' kingdom. Now what I need is for this wall to be reinforced further before the moon goes up all the way. I think two of these guys should be able to get this done before it gets too cray tonight. They haven't fallen back behind the walls yet. Your guys follow a natural cycle. They go out and they hunt during the day, and then once nighttime gets here, they fall back behind the walls. Your farmers will do the same thing, which means that you would really prefer to have a wall somewhere near your farmer so that they could fall back behind him once the nighttime gets here. I think it's going to get done in time. I hope it will. If it doesn't, this is going to get painful real quick. There we go. Okay, so we got the high tier wall up. And hopefully they'll finish the tower as well. That would be super swell. And there we go. The tier 2 tower is up. Apparently it being made out of wood, they decided to cover it with things that burn and disperse fire. Which seems kind of like a nerve-wracking proposition to me. I like how they come find me and they pay up when they know their taxes are due. They're like, hey, Pimp King White Pants, Daddy, you haven't taken my money lately. I'll be like, yeah, that's right. Better bring it on over here before I put some freckles on those cheeks. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They're coming to kill us. They're coming to kill us and caress our faces. That one had a mask on. I don't know if you've seen the mask so far, but the masks act as armor. So it takes them more hits to die when they've got a mask on. There's wood masks. There's metal masks. It is really, really odd that we haven't gotten the big attack yet. Like, you almost always get a huge attack in the first five to six days. So I'm a little bit confused why they haven't... I'm not going to complain about it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining right now. I'm happy that it has not happened, but it's a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm going to go ahead and build a farm over here because it's going to be important to our cash flow. It's day eight. We're doing pretty well right now. I will more than likely ride out here and see if I can hire a few more peasants to be farmers. The farmers will produce four coins a day, I think, if you let them work the tile the entire time. It's three to four coins a day. just sort of depends how lucky you get. Sometimes they're able to finish a full farming day in one day. Sometimes they are not. It also depends how far away from the walls the farming area is. Like, sometimes they almost get nothing done because they spend all their time walking from the castle out to the farmland. And so we should be very, very happy and fortunate and actually really sort of pray to the gods of RNG right now for thankfulness, I guess, because they really favored us on this map, like hardcore. They gave us a creek that was pretty close. I've had it to where my creek is so far out and you really, really, really start having financial problems maybe 10 to 12 days in if you don't have a farm up and ready to go. You got a little bit of cash from me. You got a little bit more cash from me. That's why I like you the best. That's why I like you the best. They built the upgrade. This flag right here is what I was talking about. If you pay that flag right there, your armies will charge out from behind the walls. Not a thing I was super pleased to find the first time that I did it. It resulted in the death of my civilization. But you got to play around with these things, otherwise you'll never learn. And it's very, very easy to get back to where you already were. That's the thing, is that the game is pleasurable to play no matter what phase you're in. Beginning, middle, or end. It's a pretty fun little game, so... On this side, we could expand the walls out a little bit further. I suppose. we got to chop down some trees, though, first. Oop. I pooped a coin. Here, come back over here. There we go. And actually, I need to go back and get a scythe, too. So I'll mark those trees Fern Gully style with a little X. And then on this side, I don't want this new peasant to have a bow. I want the new guy to have a scythe. They're very, very expensive, though, so... Just be aware that there's nothing worse than losing a farmer in this game. Losing a farmer is pretty much the biggest chunk of cash you can lose in the early game. And so as you can see, the crops are already sort of like growing up alongside the river right there. We could upgrade this to a tier 2 farm, which makes it so that I think it supports instead of 2 tiles, it supports like 5 or 6. And at that point, you're going to be raking in so much money that it's incredible. So I'm not going to send them. It's almost the end of the day, so I'm not going to send out any tree choppers for right now to chop down those trees. Let's head on back to the left and make sure that everything's okay. There's our farmer right there. He's got a little bit of cash for us. You can see they've got kind of like a, I don't know, he's got like a little wee willy winky hat on. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Did you pick up my gold? Did you just pick up that gold or did I pick up that gold? Hmm. In fact, I would love it if they would build this tower up a little bit higher. And then... Maybe put in a couple of bows right there for anybody that comes in. we got plenty of builders right now, so 
We aren't going to need builders for a long, long stretch of time. A little bit of cash on this side. We still got two hammers left, so that's all right. That's why I'm not hiring anybody from the left, is because we have too many. We got too many hammer guys already. I'm gonna wait until I need more hammer guys before I hire more hammer guys. It's another night on the watch. Last man in, huh? I respect that. First man in, last man out. I can, I can get down with that. Feels good to me. What is on our? Do we have an armadillo on our flag? That's super badass. I love armadillos. Oh, here they come. A little bit of something, something happened. Oh, they stole my coin. Unfortunately, oh, we got a new one. Never mind. That bunny generously sacrificed his life so that we could have another coin. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the city, I think. So let's go ahead and build ourselves our first longhouse. Hooray. It's actually, we're building ourselves a personal church that we live inside of. I don't know if everybody else shares the space with me. I'd be a little bit bummed out if I was the king and I had to share my super awesome pimp king church house with the rest of them, but... There it is right there. It doesn't really do a whole lot for us right now. It actually gives us access to siege weapons, I think, which is the next job. The little hammer guys, they operate siege weapons too. So now would be the time, I guess, to expand our wall out and over to here. Let me go ahead and get my builders in here. They also, did they chop the trees already? Oh, they did. Good. Chop this one too. No more growth and foliage. It's not allowed. It is verboten. But from here on in, you're going to start to see that we're going to take a lot less revenue from hunting. So, it can't really be helped. It's not something you want to rely on long term anyways. So, I probably wouldn't recommend it. He's going to go out there and chop that tree. And then by the end of today, we should be able... I think we should be able to get like a tier 3 tower up on this side, I hope. And that tree should be worth coins, I think. Yeah, we should get a coin for the tree. Let's go ahead and continue to mash this on out right here. Make sure that that wall's looking nice and sexy before we go any further. Although I'm out of cash, so we need to go track down somebody who's holding the stash here. Otherwise, that thing's going to be weakened on that side. And actually, it's worse to put your troops behind a weakened wall than it is to put your troops behind a stronger wall that's closer to your base center. So just keep that in mind while you're playing. It's better for your out. Your out you want your outer wall to be the strongest wall that you have. Because that's where you want your troops to hold for as long as possible. Once they break through the wall, they're going to kill all your troops anyways. Because all of your troops amass next to the largest or, or the farthest out wall. So, Woo! Just barely made that one. Made it by one coin. Made it by one coin. Reminds me of like when I used to play, when I was a kid, at the arcades. They had like this rotary wheel. Where you would push a quarter down into it. Or you'd push a token down into it. And you were trying to get to land on the wheel where you wanted it. And they might missed it by that much. They had another one. They had a wheel with a slot in it, and the coin would go down, and it would fire forward, and if you could time it right, you could get it through the slot. I had the timing down super hardcore with the one you wanted to go through. It took a lot of practice, too. If you wanted to get it through the one you wanted to go through, it had to be at, like, oh, it had to be at probably about 55 degrees on the right-hand side to, when you put it down in there. If you wanted to fire just perfectly from a straight center shot. I used to play the odds when I was a kid. I used to enjoy that stuff. I still enjoy gambling. That's why I stay out of casinos. I like gambling too much. I think I could end up with a gambling problem if I had spent too much time at casinos because I really do. Like, I spend so much time playing those dice games and stuff and, like, The Witcher, and I play it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a big part of the game to me is just playing the game and gambling. Let me see if anybody earned anything out here. God, I love the fact our wall is so close to our farmland. It's a big deal to me. It looks like he actually picked up the coins that the farmer threw out, so... That'll be nice. I'll probably hold on to the cash for right now. You get anything? Slow hunting day, huh? All right. Well, if you didn't get anything, I'm not going to worry about it. I need to hire a few more farmers, though. If I could have three more pastel-covered farmers. They farm better because they're in Easter colors. Everybody knows that. If you want to farm really good, you got to wear Easter colors all the time. We still have not taken our big attack, so... I assume it's coming. It's one of the main reasons why I'm hoarding my gold right now. Is because if we get wiped out super hardcore... I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of money to... To recover. And so having a good 10-15 coins in the purse... Just in case when the time comes... Is always a pretty solid plan in this game. If you think you're about to take a big attack... Anytime soon. Well, it doesn't look too bad on this side. What's going on with the other side? I don't hear anything over here either. 
I don't know if we got lucky and we got a really easy map or what happened, but I'm going to stop talking about it. A big attack is coming. Just letting you know it's coming. But we ain't seen it yet, so I'm going to go out in the forest and hire a few more peons to come get some more sights. It is day 10, forebodingly enough, labeled day X, which makes me feel all kinds of nervous. We don't have a bell tower. I have no idea where that bell sound comes from. I assume that we're somewhere near the place where Dark Souls takes place. People just keep ringing the bell. They're like, I killed the boss! The big demon guy that's on the bridge. I kicked his ass. It was awesome. You gentlemen. Look, I'm going to drop money on the ground, and they're going to race to see who can get there. Ah! <laughs> you drop money on the ground, and look at the peasants they scramble for. it. They're so poor. <laughs> God. Good King Pimp can't... <laughs> <laughs> I called him Good King right afterwards. Pimp King White Pants, you are a dick. Douchebag Pimp King White Pants. He just got a new modifier. Douchebag Pimp King White Pants. Good. I love it when they're out here farming first thing in the morning. Any coins or anything for me? I think our chest should be here, but pretty soon it's going to start giving us only a couple of coins. Like, I think on day 11 or 12, it starts giving you just one coin a day as kind of just like a, I told you you are going to run out of money. It's like the game telling you that, like, it tried to teach you that you are supposed to generate income first and then worry about other stuff later. Now, but, like, that's cool. So when it's foggy like this, you want to be careful because you can't see the sun. It's a minor gameplay modifier, but it's hard to keep track of time when you don't have the sun in the background. You got any cash for me? Oh, look at you over here, money bags. Look at you. Big old stacks of cash just hanging out waiting for me to come around. We didn't go very far to the left, but I assume that out here somewhere... You know, I just don't think these villagers over here are going to make it. I don't have any empty supplies right now. So paying him, I'm going to have to run that out at the beginning of the day. I don't think I can make it before the end of the day. So I'm going to do for right now. We're just going to go back to town. I'd like to ride out there and get a couple more peasants, but... I don't think it's gonna I don't think we're gonna make it either I'm gonna make it out there I'm gonna pay the peasants but by tonight they're gonna get killed by the mobs out in the forest and so we're not gonna see them they're not gonna make it back to town anyways not gonna make it back to town anyways and I can't tell what time it is which has me all nerve-wracked and not sure if I should do anything the bunnies come out of these bushes right here if you were wondering so if you wanted to keep bunnies around so that you could keep hunting don't destroy those bushes siege weapons are not amazing But they might not be the worst plan at this point. So he got a bow, and then the other one became a farmer, I hope. So the little hammer guys should manage good, 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 good. We're generating six coins a day now just from farming, which is enough to replace the chest that we're about to lose. It might also set off the internal clocks of your little defender guys. I'm not really totally sure. So the little hammer guys will push your carts around. If you go over here, I don't know. They have little swastika tires. What are you shooting at right now? I think they're testing it or something. I don't know. I've noticed they do that after you build the catapult for the first time. They always fire it at your own guys for some reason. It's got swastika wheels. Oh, look at that. Yeah, here comes a big attack. Ooh, that was a pretty good... Oh, damn. There's so many of them. And unfortunately, can't really target properly behind us. Yeah, that wall's coming down. So there's the big attack I was warning you about. I told you it was coming. You gotta watch out for it. And there's floaty things that come from the sky. How much fun is that? They try to eat you out of the sky, and it's really not enjoyable. So they're gonna steal all of our stuff over here, which is why I always recommend that you save a little bit of money. So when they hit these little guys, what ends up happening... No, don't pick up that coin, please. What ends up happening is when they hit these little guys, first it takes their tool, after it takes their tool, then it takes whatever money they have on them. After it takes whatever money it has on them, it reverts them back to normal peasants that don't work for you. And so my recommendation would be, if you know there's a big attack coming, like I've been talking about, and you know the wall is going to go down, you should focus pretty heavily on making sure you have replacement weapons around and things like that to make their lives a little bit better. I would also like to get another farming implement if I can. We got lucky in the attack, so I know you're probably saying like, so how the hell did we get lucky right there? We got lucky in the sense that the attack came from the side that our farmers were not on. It's way more expensive to replace farmers and an army than it is just to replace an army. You can fix your army up really, really rapidly. It's also very, very cheap to fix a wall, so it's not really that bad of a deal if your wall gets knocked out. But anyways, yep, we built our little, I don't know, 
swastika pulse, and then I don't know if they're facing like the Buddhist good direction or if they're facing in like the evil Nazi bad direction. Not totally sure. I told them to build a cart, and frankly, they're medieval peasants. They aren't known for their tolerance. Yes, me lord. I added some embellishments, me lord. Look. Please reward me for going the extra distance. I'd be like, wow, every nobody wants to visit us anymore. What have you done, Greg? What have you done? Greg, you dumb bastard. Oh, you get four per. Okay, so that's pretty good. And he gave us one right there. I'm gonna go see if there's any more peasants out this way. I need to go, like, straight ham mode on the peasant recruiting right now. We didn't lose anybody, which is super awesome. But if I could have farming up and running by two days from now, and then I could focus all my money on hiring peasants, I think we'd have a much better chance to survive. Oh, there's two of you right here? Well, here. Take another coin. Come join the faction. Raise a fist to the sky. I think... There's a lot of bunnies out here. I don't know. I like the forest. I like the forest when it's snowy. That's when I really like the forest because you get really, really quiet sound in the redwoods where you got like two feet of snow walking through the forest just enjoying the nature, watching the things that are around, looking at all the tracks in the snow and following them, seeing what you can find. Love that kind of stuff. Love that stuff. In fact, I promised my girlfriend I'd take her up to Truckee Tahoe pretty soon because she has actually only been up there like once and it was on business when she went up there so she didn't get to have no fun. I was like, well, we've got to fix that. Obviously, we got to go up there and have a little bit of fun so that your memories of Tahoe are as pleasant as mine. My dad had a business friend who, in return for... My dad would send him contract work every now and again. And in exchange, he would let us stay at his cabin every year that was up in Tahoe. And so, I have very, very pleasant memories of Tahoe. Wonderful little place. Wonderful little place. I should probably get this tower all nice and fixed up. Gentlemen, yes, fall back behind the line. Indeed. If we have a quiet night tonight, I may try to run out to the left and do the right today so I can get like five more peasants all in one go. That'd be super trill. It would make me ultra happy. I'd be like, oh yeah, pimp king white pants, douchebag white pants, pimp king, whatever order you want to put it in. He's stepping his game up right now. He's hustling. Keep hustling. Ooh, ooh. Keep hustling now. He's a king with the gold. He's going to spend it on you. Ooh, ooh. Sometimes. All the rest of it he spends on nose candy. Nose candy and meth, weirdly enough. Methamphetamines. He tried PCP, but he just wasn't feeling it. He didn't want to be, you know, that big of a douche. Let's go off to the left. He may run around just like raging out on people. Punching them all the time. Like, oh, I feel so alive. Why are you looking at me, car down the street? I kick your window in. Ah! That music's kind of scary, and I don't very much feel good about this. Hey, what is up, peace ants? Come away with me. Come away with me and join my wonderful society filled with candy and all of the pressure. <laughs> all of the pleasure modules you can keep. Me lord, what's a pleasure module? I'll be like, you'll find out. Everybody gets one. They're pretty sweet. There's a reason we came all the way. They were outlawed. I used to be like an English lord and then I made pleasure modules and everybody got angry with me and they said that it was against God. The Anglicans ran me out. And so now I'm here creating my own church just to show them that meh. I'll go and make my own church with blackjack and hookers and pleasure modules. You guys going to go out and hunt today? And you're just going to like hang out over there. You know that dusk and dawn is when you should be hunting, right? Trying to help you do your job. Don't hate. Farmers, what you got for me? You got nothing right now, farmers? You need to step your game up. You better step your game up. As Lil John and Snoop Dogg told me. Oh, wow, you guys did like nothing. Eastside crew, I'm going to need you to hold it down a little bit better, Eastside crew. I am a little bit disappointed with your professional progress right now. What the hell was that? Something is levitating in front of my face. It's weird that I have no saddle. Like, one would assume that at a certain point you would throw a saddle on that thing. I don't know, bareback riding seems really uncomfortable. I don't ride horses very often, but when I do, I would prefer for it to be a pleasurable experience. Not necessarily one where I'm just like, ow, 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 ow. The inside of my colon is shaped like a vertebra. Like, for real, right now, if you poured molten plastic into my butthole and then pulled out the result, you would have the top quadrant of a horse's vertebra in plastic. This brave little bastard over here getting way out into the forest. 
Ain't nothing to hunt no more. You guys got anything for me? Stipends? There it is. A little bit of that spending cash. That's what I need. That is what I need. What did I get out of here? They finally cut me off. Oh, no. We still got a couple days worth of gold left. Okay. Fine by me. Let's go ahead. I'll probably go two in right here. And then I'll probably go one extra farming implement. Because... I'm not so certain that the farm is actually properly being built upon. The sun is going to... Hey, give me that coin right there. I want it. Give me it! I am the greatest whiny king ever. Give me this. So, my name is Splattercat. I will see you all later. This is Kingdom, a game that I am absolutely just... I adore this game. I really do. I don't know. I can't explain to you why I'm so attached to this game, but for some reason... It just toots all the right horns for me. Oh, shit. Did you fill up my hammers? I hope you didn't. Man, I have too many workers already. All right. Well, I'll see you in the next episode. Hi, do everybody.